This YouTube channel is going to be discussing various uh, subjects. So this playlist in general is going to be focusing on numerical methods. You could be an engineering student, a mathematics student, or even a stats student. But regardless of that, you're on this video for one reason, and it could be that you're having trouble understanding from the textbook. Personally, as a student, I find it hard sometimes to read from textbooks as they could be overcomplicated and really give you too much detail and don't really get to that nice sweet spot. But this channel is going to make it easy for you. I'm going to be discussing a lot of topics and to try to make your day easier. If you're an engineering student, you could have six courses and that's not easy to get six courses and try to understand everything your professor teaches. And a lot of those times, these lectures that you attend, they're complicated, they give you too much information, and it should be really just generally simpler than what you went to class and learned. So this will be lesson one, and lesson one of numerical methods is we're gonna be converting decimal to binary. So in order to convert decimal to binary, it's actually a very simple process. So we're gonna start with example one. And example one is, let's see what we have here. So let's go ahead and do this. My apologies. So example one. So example one. Let's say you were told to convert a decimal number of 139. So you're given this question and it says convert 139 into a binary number. How would you do this? So this process is actually very simple. We're gonna start with a method that I like to call the ladder method. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna write the number 139. And beside it, you're gonna put a kind of like, kind of box it into a square, put it on the side like that. And from 139, you need to divide this number by two. The reason we divide by two is because computers, they, they're, they're in base two. I, I'm not really a computer scientist myself. I don't know much information about that. I'm an engineering student. So hopefully someone can uh, explain that. I'm sure there's a video out there that explains more why. But you're going to divide it by two. So when you divide 139 by two, you're going to get 100. My apologies. You're going to get 69.5. And you're going to get 69.5, but you're not going to write 69.5. Instead, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the 0.5 remainder and you're basically going to bring it up. You're going to bring it up to 1. And beside the 139, you're going to write 1. And then at the bottom here, what you're going to do is you're going to write 69. So you drop the 0.5 and then you put a 1 to the side. You're going to start repeating this process. You're going to do 69 and you're going to divide this number by 2. If you divide 69 by 2, 69 is, is an odd number. Divide it by 2, you're going to get 34. The same process applies here. The actual answer is 35.5. So you're going to take the 1 out here. And then you're going to take that 35.5. And instead, you're going to write 34. You're going to keep repeating this process until you can no longer do that anymore. So let's go ahead and finish this example up. We're going to put 2 here, indicating that we divided by 2. The 34 is different this case because you don't have a remainder if you do 34 divided by 2. 17, the 17 here you have a 1. And here we have from the 17, we are going to get 8. And then if you divide 8. So the process is becoming very repetitive. I'm going to go ahead and finish this example up here. We're going to have 2 divided by 2. You're not going to have remainder. You're going to get down here. 2, no remainder. Until you get down to the number 1. So you can't actually divide uh, 1 by 2 here in this, in this case. Because 1 is uh, it's less than 2. And this rule only applies that... The number itself has to be greater. 
so it ends here. It's ending here and then you actually have your answer here and I'm going to show you how you have your answer. If you picture this as a ladder, as we're going down the ladder, at the right we're getting numbers 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and then you need to count the 1 here. These are called binary numbers. A computer reads numbers using ones and zero. To express 139 as a binary number, what you need to do is you need to start from the bottom of the ladder until you make your way up, and then you stop here. The conversion, the answer for 139 into a binary number is one, zero, 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 one, zero, one, one. And we simply got this just by looking at the bottom of the, uh, of the ladder, we'll call it, and just making our way up. The correct re representation of writing this is 139, 10, and then you would go ahead and then you would, uh, you would express this number as a base 10, and then you would go ahead and then you would equal it as 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And then putting a 2 here, indicating that this is a base 2. So this right here, I'm going to go ahead and circle it. This right here is sufficient. This is 139 as a decimal expressed into a binary. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do one more example. And uh, this next example we're going to do, it's just, it's going to be the same thing. So before you do this example, or before you watch me do this example, maybe you can go ahead and you can try it on your own. So it's going to be a very simple example. We're just going to be doing the same thing, but this time we're just going to be doing it with the number 50. So nothing new here. So maybe pause this video, try it yourself, and see if you get the same answer. So, if, if you've attempted this question, uh, I'm happy for you. If you got the right answer, that's great. It shows that you understand what's happening. But if you want to see this happen, you can, uh, you can continue watching this video here. But if not, just skip maybe 20, 30 seconds ahead, could be a minute, and you'll find the answer. So the same rule applies. You go ahead, you write 50, and then 50 is your starting number. And then for 50, you do the same thing. So 50 divided by 2, you would actually, in this case, you would get 25. And that works out nicely. You don't have to worry about that. And then you would write 25 here, and you're dividing by 2 here. If you divide 25 by 2, this is, uh, this is actually an odd number, so it's not going to work out nicely. You would get you would get 12.5. The same rule applies. 12.5, you don't go to 13, you go below. So 12.5, you go to 12, and then you put the 1 to the right of the 25. And then you go 12 here, and then the same thing here. 12 works out nicely. Well, if you're going down 6, 6 works out nicely. You're going to go to 3. 3 is not going to work out nicely. So you're going to have a remainder here until you get all the way down to 1. You're going to get to 1, and then you can no longer do anything at 1. So what you want to do is the same thing I t uh, we talked about in the first example. You start at the bottom of the ladder make your way directly up and then here you go so read it from the bottom if we go ahead and we read it from the bottom we're gonna get one one zero zero one zero so this right here this right here is 100 my apologies this right here is 50 as a decimal number converted into a binary number and you and you read it from left to right as well so it's one one zero zero one zero and this is the, your answer 
if you express 50 as a binary. So this concludes the video for this, uh, for this example. So this example, we dealt with whole numbers, but this rule actually changes. For example, if you're dealing with numbers that are uh, no longer whole numbers, and it's gonna be just a little different, and the next video is gonna be talking about how you would work this out if it was not a whole number. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment, give me a like. If there's any advice you can give me, I know my handwriting isn't exactly the best. This is my first video, so I'm working on improving it. Any advice, any tips uh, I can get would be very well appreciated. And I hope that, I hope you learned something today and you can continue throughout the playlist in order to better understand this course. Thank you for watching. Good? I made. Yeah.